Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you these are the parts for a Yamaha 700XL two stroke jet ski um, they all go into the sub assembly and gasket kit small end bearings, that's what they look like your seals obviously on your crank, this is a brand new crank everything is included on there, brand new rods engineering on the block or well, basically the barrels has been done and these are the marks as they put the bore scope in to make sure everything is correct I just thought I'd show you guys this so long so that you can know what it looks like and what the internals of this motor looks like necessary to rebuild it Red right, rocket out Okay, so there are the casings. That's the bottom part. It's been uh, given sealant already. Only the bottom part gets sealant. Yeah, as the top part, you'll see where the lock pins sit. There's one, two, three, four, five of them on this particular motor. And the crank goes in, yeah. You don't put any sealant on these flanges. Drop in the crank, you'll see that we've put the seals on the sides already, and notice which way they go in as well. There's a little piece that's going past that has to go into the lock. The pins that I showed you just now, one in position. And this is the only way to build this motor. If you do and that part first, you've got trouble. Break the bearings. Yep, as El Diablo said, you'll break the bearings. Alright, so they are de definitely in position. You must make sure that they are definitely in position. Okay, so now that the crank is in position in the top half that has not been given any sealant at all we take the bottom half that has been given sealant and we drop it down on the top very carefully now remember if you don't do it this way around by the time that you start pulling the bolts taut they will grip the bearings in such a way and with such a force you won't notice it but you'll hear them crack alright so we're getting ready to drop in the bolts ok so now the seal goes on or the, the rubber which the motor is mounted on bolts go in ok so the 8 bolts are in and uh, after checking that the engine's rotation is fine double checking that your pins are in position and that you haven't cracked your bearings and then you can start putting on the pistons to the con rods you'll see the piston has got a little arrow that usually shows towards the exhaust port in goes a small bearing but basically that little arrow just indicates on the back of the piston, on the flip side of the piston there are little pins where, whereby your rings lock in position and those pins are to stop the rings from turning around or spinning as per se in position on the piston and opening up into the inlet port or the exhaust port itself that would cause damage on your piston so basically it's just it's an indication of where the lock rings on your piston are supposed to sit so the hardest part yeah is to get your 
so clips on You have to make sure they clip in position, as you heard it clip there. And then also we put them in so that the opening end shows away ultimately from where you put your tool in to clip it in position, which is that place there. Okay, so those are the circlips on the one piston. Finish doing the circlips on the other piston. Make very sure that they are in position before even progressing further with this matter. And then for the final one, see you guys now. Okay, just for interest sake, these little holes here are the oilers. You can see they, they fall directly onto the bearings. And on the inside of the crank casing, as we closed it, it's also got these oiler journals on the inside. As the pistons scrape the, the, the fuel oil mixture, it moves down and it drips in there. And from the inside also, it makes sure that the crank gets oil all the time. Which is very important, always during a build like this. Make sure that those journals are very, very clean. Obviously, as per everything on the motor. You'll also see that we've put on the keyways along. Okay. You will see that uh, the gasket also has to correspond with the gaps there. Very important. Now, putting the barrels in position, you will notice that the barrels has got a broad end and a smaller end. It has a smaller end, which corresponds with that part there, and the broader end, which corresponds with the broader part here. Very important to get that correctly. Now, as your arrow shows to the exhaust port, you have to align the rings so that they lock into the pin position on the piston itself. You'll see as El Diablo squeezes the rings, the rings align exactly onto the piston or the little uh, um, block for the rings. Once they're in, very very carefully, nudge the piston into position. And it will, should slide in. Okay, everyone. Make sure that your gasket does not get caught. And voila. Your barrels have been placed in position. Check for rotation. It should not stick at all. So El Diablo has added a little bit of two-stroke oil as an additional lubricant. Some people may vary on this, but we like to 
do it this way with all our motors. Okay, so now that your base gasket is in position, the pistons have been inserted, you start dropping in your bolts, and tighten them, before even thinking about torquing them. Okay, so I'm tightening the bolts. Always make sure that your barrels are straight onto the, the casing. Just make sure everything's aligned basically. Okay, the bolts have been hand fastened and then lightly tightened by hand with a ratchet of course and then you will torque them according to your manual specs in the precise sequence as you see now Right. Okay, making sure which way the, the gasket goes on, the head gasket. You place the head gasket with the head onto your barrels. First locate it with a screw. So firstly making sure which way around it goes. Everything should be correct. Put in your head bolts before torquing them. I guess so you'll see the sequence of this head. All of them has got the torque sequence there according to the numbers one, two, three, and so on. And here is the torque specs. So once the head has been torqued correctly, double check it. And that's there. That's done. Okay, so the Bendix has been put in position. Now for the stator. Afterwards the flywheel. But remember the stator has to put in, be put in on its mark. There's how the Abla is showing you exactly where the mark is. That's the neutral position for the stator, the neutral timing. There's the little arrow and there's a little mark. Okay, so this goes on, flywheel goes on, and then the cover goes on. That closes all of this up. Okay, so making sure that your stator is in the neutral position via the marks. Put the bolts in according to manual spec, then drop on the flywheel. Also tighten the flywheel to manual spec. Okay, so the PTO is on and fastened to the correct torque spec as per manual setting. <coughs> flywheel has been torqued and fastened as per manual spec setting. Now you're going to put your gasket on then we're going to put our cover on. There's the oil pump rotor that's connected to the oil pump. Make sure that it, before you put it into position, make sure that this corresponds with the slot in the flywheel. Otherwise you won't notice it, you'll tighten it, it will break and you'll only realize it after a while. Inside, make sure you've got a spring in there and put sufficient grease on there to keep the spring inside while you're battling to assemble it, especially with a little rotor there. You see your gasket is on in position.
So bringing your ends into position now. We've already seen that the rotor is in position for the oil pump. Put in one bolt. And everything should seal and fit snug. If it doesn't seal and fit snug straight away, you have to make sure that the oil pump's in position and on correctly. Okay, so all that's left now is your carriage and then exhaust carburetors but we're going to drop the motor in as is and we'll take you there when we do that okay so start the motor in position and there's the exhaust part of it Okay, so bringing your uh, exhaust gasket into position, putting the exhaust gasket on, and fitting the exhaust out that manifold, the first part. Okay, so starter motor and exhaust is being fitted. Now, time for the engine carriage or engine brackets. There's one, there's the other one. Fit them, tighten them according to engine specifications, manual specs. Alright, dropping in the motor through the hole, you do it upside down, you put the motor in upside down and then flip it on the inside. Alright, let's get uh, the rest of the things all hooked up.